welcome to a day in my life. This is my morning routine. My morning started two and a half hours ago. 6.30 a.m. Wesley crawled on top of me and told me that he needed to watch Bluey. And then he woke up Maisie. So I played with the twins for a couple hours. Now it's 8.30 and Eric just took them so I can take a nap. And Daisy heard that I was taking a nap. But she was like, I want in on this mess. So tired. I went to bed at like four in the morning. So I was making that freaking dollhouse. Hi, huh, Daisy. Daisy loves a cuddle. She's literally the cuddliest cat in the whole world. I've never had a cat this cuddly ever. There's a lot of mornings where I wake up and she's cuddling my arm. Oh, oh, you can give me hugs. There she goes. She's giving me some arm petals. Oh, oh, you're giving me some cuddles. It's so cute. She's spinning my arm. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap. Okay, it's much later in the day and I took a little nap, cuddled with Daisy, played with my kids, and now I'm in the garage because I need to get some wrapping paper. Getting wrapping paper because I'm going to Christopher and Jessica's house, my brother and sister-in-law. Celebrating Jacob's birthday, but I'm also kind of celebrating Teddy's birthday. Jacob is turning 15 and Teddy turned three. And we haven't seen him since his birthday, so I have to wrap their presents, but I should have wrapped these presents days ago, but I didn't because my life has changed. I think I need to quit my job on YouTube. I don't have have time for it anymore. I won't be editing videos or filming ever again because the only thing my life consists of now is making a dollhouse for my daughter. Last week, I got the insane idea to make a dollhouse for Maisie out of felt. I thought, oh, this will take me a couple hours. No. It's a full-time job. I've been doing it for literally almost a week at this point. It's all I think about. It's all I want to do. I just want to finish it, but I'm also kind of having fun doing it. I will work for hours and hours and hours on this thing. I won't sleep. I'm obsessed with making this dollhouse, but I'll work on it for hours and it looks like I did nothing. Like I'm not even close to finished with this thing. So if you don't see me for a couple weeks, it's because I don't have time to edit. I'm gonna have to quit my job and just be a full-time felt dollhouse maker, but I'm only gonna make one and it's only gonna be for my daughter who probably won't even care. She'll honestly probably ruin it within five seconds, which it's hers. She can ruin it if she wants, but like I just, I'm putting too much thought and care into it and it's just so ridiculous. I need to stop, but I can't. By the way, these are for my nephew. Jacob, he's obsessed with licorice, and so I got him like the most insane amount of licorice because I am that obnoxious aunt. But also he likes black licorice, which to me is just criminal. If you love black licorice, jail time. I think that is wild. Anyway, I'm completely obsessed with making this dollhouse. I'll have to show it to you, but first I need to wrap these presents because we're headed over to my brother's house very soon. Okay, we're home. We had so much fun at the party celebrating Jacob and Teddy. And I have some footage from the party that I want to show to you guys, but I feel like it needs a little bit of explanation first. So my nephew Jacob turned 15, and so obviously his teenage friends were there, and we were playing a game, and one of his friends said something like Sigma or Riz or said some word that I didn't know. And I was like, excuse me, what was that? And everyone laughed at me, and they were like, oh my gosh, you don't know what that is. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, I'm like the weird aunt at this birthday party that like doesn't know all their cool teenager lingo and stuff and so then I just thought it was funny so I was asking them about different slang terms and things that they say that I might not know what it means and they were laughing so hard at me not knowing anything and then my brother started trying to guess what some of the words meant and I was like wait let's make this a game we sat down and we got little notepads and the teenagers told us words and slang that they use and we had to guess what they mean after we've been playing for quite a while my nephew Parker came in and offered to film for me on my phone so he started filming but it's loud and chaotic and kind of hot mess. So I'm gonna show that to you now. My brother and I are trying to guess Gen Alpha slang right now and it's not going well. They've done Riz? Oh my gosh, I need to see that. You need to see that? The next word is snack. Snack? Is it spelled like a snack? Like yes. M-A-C-K? I think it's a nice looking individual. You go, oh, that's that's a snack. I think it's the same thing as you, but it's like, you looking like a snack. <laughs> You guys should know this one. Drip. 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 Yeah. If you don't know this one, shock. I think yeah. it means like rich attire. Like, oh, wow. like I'm dripping in gold. Like, like you look cool if you're dripping in something. I don't know how to look. Time to call her plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just like to say that there is there are so many people just collecting 
waiting just to watch you guys figure out Jen Alvis. Bussin. I'm Jen. Bussin. Bussin. Yeah, Bussin. I think Bussin means really cool. That's so Bussin. This birthday party is Bussin. I think it's being busy. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm bussing. I'm, I'm. It's delicious. Like, what? Something is really? delicious. Like, yeah. like that's that not. Was okay, I'm actually shocked. It oh. really means it like tastes good. Yes. Oh, like, yeah. Like a pizza would be bussing. Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. Why? Why? Okay, what does Ava have to do with the bus? No. What does skibbity mean? Oh yes. Skibbity. So I think that's skibbity that's is like a sound of delight. Like. <laughs> First time, like I'm so skibbity. I was like, is this like skinty? <laughs> is that a millennial term? Do you guys know skinty? No. I don't. I think it has an ever-changing thing. It's like saying 22 skidoo. It's like just a weird word that some guy in a toilet came up with. No way! You saw the meme! It started from an Arabic song. The skibbity toilet evolved from that. Skibbity toilet. But it means not yet, not right now, okay? It means to start sexist conversations. I think it just gets thrown in. I think it, I think it has a fold. I think you're right. The next word is eight. Yes, okay. Eight. 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 I think it means not I correct. One is blue. What? Well, wait, what, what word was it? Eight? Eight. 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 You're joking. You know what? No. 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 Eight oh, is like the new or version like of older. sleigh. Like, you yeah. ate that. You ate yes. that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes! Next is aura. <laughs> aura? Is it spelled like aura? Like A U R A? Yeah. I have no idea, but I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna say it means smell it. <laughs> okay, I like that. Oh, there's an aura. It's <laughs> <laughs> a polite way of saying someone smells I think it means like vibes. Referring to how cool okay, or sure. uncool and then, an individual is. That's yeah. vibes. I feel like you're Basically. Good. It's the next day, and Flynn and I are on a mission. He wants to make a. What are you making? A fish trap? We're gonna go to the trusty dollar store, see if they have any supplies we could use. If the dollar store isn't open or doesn't work, we can always go to a thrift store. That's another good option to find supplies. And while we're there, I have a hair in my mouth. I might try to find some more supplies for my dollhouse I made for Maisie. Oh, Flynn's taking the camera. There she goes. Well, we are driving now. So two days ago, I went to the harbor and I saw Lots of crabs, alive crabs, I know. Lots of fish, minnows, but the most of all, a wild octopus. That octopus is a two-spot octopus. I know, it's crazy, right? Oh, and I saw two round rays. That's what they're called, round rays. I love them so much, they were as far out as an octopus. I also saw some dog fish. Pretty crazy sounding, right? But they're real. Okay, dude. I'm sorry that sound. Sorry, there's something in my ear. Oh my gosh. It feels like a palm tree. That little it looks like a palm tree and feels it. Bye bye. Flynn and I shopping together is a dangerous game. We just want to buy everything. I just found this. It's a light up ball. You have to put batteries in it, but it makes me think of Taylor Swift's Willow. We have to air this tour. Da, 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 da. I mean, do I know what I'm going to be for Halloween? I found this a skeleton pot. Pretty cool. Mom, I want to do this. I want to get this. For what? I can make it a crab trap. Okay. Wow, we really stocked up. I got a bunch of stuff for Maisie's dollhouse and also other craft supplies. And Flynn got a bunch of stuff to make a fish trap. So we're both gonna be creative and build something today. Hey girl, hey, it's midnight. I'm pretty sure I started off this vlog saying like, this is a day in the life of me or something. And then I definitely didn't have a day in the life vlog at all. But I am doing laundry. So today was crazy. Flynn did in fact try to make a fish trap or crab trap or something out of all the weird stuff we got at the dollar store. Probably won't be functional, but it was fun for him to do. I have not had a chance to make the dollhouse anymore tonight, but I'm about to. I gave up on finishing the dollhouse before I give it to Maisie. I'm just too impatient. Uh oh, the baby's awake. I gotta go. To be continued. Okay, it was just Wesley and when I asked what was wrong, he said, I just like to cry. You like this guy? Oh. Okay. 
make it cry. Okay. I think he just wanted mama cuddles for a minute, so that's fine. So anyway, I am trying my hardest to get this dollhouse done, but I just think it's gonna take a very long time to finish it. I don't know that I'll ever actually even be like happy with it and think it's finished, but I'll show you what I have. But before I do that, I wanted to say that when Flynn was in the car filming, which was so funny to watch because I couldn't hear him when I was driving. So to watch that back, I was like dying laughing and it was way longer than that. That's like a very short version of it. Anyway, he was talking about how he saw an octopus in the wild and a bunch of other sea creatures, but he really did see an octopus. He was at the beach with Eric and they were walking along this like harbor and they spotted an octopus and Eric took a video of it and he sent it to me. I'll show it to you guys. Mom, look what we found in the ocean. Wow. We found that in the ocean. Best day of your life. Oh yeah. Uh, but we up like the reservation was a little bit weird. So Anybody? And let me just say that when we go tide pooling, like all the videos you've seen of us in the last few weeks tide pooling, the goal is to find an octopus. Like that is what Eric and I are looking for the entire time we are at the tide pools. I grew up in a beach town. I have lived in or near a beach town my entire life. I grew up going to the beach. I grew up going to tide pools. I go to the beach obviously all the time. I have never seen an octopus in the wild. So when Eric sent me that video of the octopus, I almost cried because I wasn't there and I was also so happy that they saw an octopus. Like, isn't that so freaking exciting? I think that is so cool. Anyway, I am going to show you my progress with the dollhouse. It is not finished. I still have a lot of plans, but I will show you what I have to finish the vlog. And don't forget to ask Tortilla Talk questions for tomorrow. It is a Tortilla Talk Tuesday tomorrow, so I would love to answer all of your wonderful questions. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all had a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you tomorrow. Now here's the dollhouse. Okay, so this is the dollhouse so far. I have to put shingles on the roof, and I I'm gonna put like a door and windows and flowers and all that. But this is the concept so that she can just carry it around, it's very lightweight. And then this handle comes down and opens up. So I'm gonna put stuff on this yard. It's all dirty because I've been working on this so much, but I'm gonna put like a little pool and like a swing set and flowers and whatever. So we have a wonky wall here that I have to fix. The kids have already been playing with this, so that's why it's kind of already falling apart. So here's the Maisie doll that I made out of felt. And then this is what you saw me making in that last clip. This is the Wesley doll. I a little monster truck on his shirt. I made these completely out of felt and hot glue, and I think they turned out pretty good. I'm actually very proud of these. So we'll start here in the living room. There's a little light switch here that turns on the lights on the bottom floor. And this is a little couch I made. Everything is out of felt and this like foam material, these like foam paper things, and construction paper and cardboard, like that's it, and hot glue. I didn't sew anything. Cushions come off, but I put Velcro on so that you know where they go. And then there's Velcro on the back so that it can hook onto the wall back there so it doesn't like roll around when you carry the thing around. And then Maisie likes to take it off and put it here so that she can watch the TV. I put a little TV in there with Gabby's dollhouse playing because that's her favorite TV show. I really wanted to make this like switchable so you could like switch what show you were watching by putting little cards in, but I didn't do that. Still probably gonna put like a little coffee table or something in here. I wanted to put like a little side table over here, but there's not room because the couch is too big. Maybe I'll put like a dresser on the wall or something. I don't know, I need to do something else in here. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna put pictures on the wall. Then over here is the kitchen. The oven is attached inside, it's glued to the wall so you can't take it out, but this cabinet opens, there's a cookie in there right now and it has a felt backing on it. Since everything's made out of felt, it kind of sticks to each other so you can just like stick it back in. This is the little oven and inside is a pizza right now. See, so you can take things out and put them back in whatever. And then there's a little stove top and a little sink. I want to make like pots and pans and stuff and maybe like hang them on the wall up here and then have a picture up here or something. I'll probably put a window over here. And then the fridge does come out and the fridge has all these other little foods that I printed out in there that she can take out and play with whatever and the doors open. And then Velcro's back in. I I wanted to put stairs, but it's too small, so you just have to pretend they can levitate. And this is the second floor. And over here is a window, and this is actually a photo of our backyard, so when she looks out her window, she sees her own backyard. Her little bed comes out. One of the jewels fell off, I need to fix that. And the little bed sheets open up, so you can like put her in the bed. And then this is a little wardrobe, it's glued to the wall, and you can put little felt clothes. I need to make more felt clothes. I already gave her a couple, but they are already lost. And then here's the bathroom. The toilet comes out, and this is the little toilet. And then this is the little 
little bathtub. And then if she wants her doll to take a bath, she can just like slip it in. I wanted to make the clothes removable and that's still the plan, but the clothes are all just glued on. So I might make another version of these dolls where the clothes can come on and off. I just couldn't figure out how to make it work so that the clothes could be removable. The only version of felt dolls I could find online where their clothes were removable and exchangeable was like if it's just like one piece of clothing that goes on the front, but then there's nothing on the back side. So I don't really know how to do that, but for now these are their permanent clothes. And then up here there's a little shelf that has a rubber ducky and the shampoo that we like to use. Those can go right back up there. And then over here is a little sink on the wall and I'll probably put like a window or a picture or something up here. And then the top floor has nothing right now. It's just this little alcove and I wanna make this a playroom. So my plan is to put little shelves and stuff in here with all their favorite toys. So there'll be a little dollhouse, monster trucks, building blocks, stuff like that. But I just haven't had time to make all that stuff so that this upstairs part can be a playroom. However, she likes to play with this dollhouse with her other little dolls and she calls them their friends. Oh no, is her smile coming off? I'll have to fix her smile. She always has them sleep on the floor next to her. So I was thinking about making another bed up here somewhere so that like when her friends sleep over, they can have a place to sleep. Oh, and one more thing. This room has a light switch too. It's up here. That lights that part up. And then the downstairs, those are the downstairs lights. There's the upstairs lights. And I'm gonna put lights up here as well. I do regret not figuring out a way to put the lights in that they can be replaceable. It's just these little twinkle lights and they're hot glued in there. So like that actually really sucks because once this light goes out, which it will, I can't like replace it. It's hot glued in there. I should have figured out a way to like put these lights in that wasn't hot glued. I regret that a little bit. And then when she's done with it, done playing with it, she just puts this little hook in the slot up here. Bloop. Oop, her hair's caught in there, but then she can just carry it around. And that's the dollhouse. Okay, see you tomorrow.